James Harden, Bradley Beal opt in or opt out of their particular options with the Sixers and Wizards respectively. Their decisions will have impact across the entire league. So if you're new to these two guys, I'll tell you this, they can flat out score. I don't think there's any question about that. Over the last four seasons, Harden has averaged the most points per game of any player in the league, and Beal ranks fourth behind the beard and a couple of MVPs as well in Giannis and Steph. And who better to tell us about what's going on with both of these players than ESPN senior insider Adrian Wojnarowski. So Woj, what are we going to do here with Bradley Beal? We'll get to him later in the show with so much. God, there's so many things to talk about. It's just insane. But let's start off with James Harden. What are the pros and cons of Harden opting in or out of Philadelphia? Yeah, I think, you know, people need to remember that just because a player opts out of his deal doesn't mean he's leaving. Uh, very often it's financially makes sense to opt out and do a new deal. And I think in James Harden's case, certainly it would be very helpful to the 76ers as they try to uh, build this roster around Joel Embiid and, of course, James Harden, you know, to be able to use their full mid-level exception, which will be $10.5 million when free agency starts. It's very different than the $6.5 million taxpayer exception that the Sixers would have to use if Harden opted into his deal. And if Harden opts out, he can do a new deal. He can guarantee himself more money uh, over an extended period of time, over two, three, four years, whatever they negotiate. But I know a lot of the conversations around uh, the Sixers and James Harden have been about how can we uh, improve this team? How can we improve the roster? Uh, how can James Harden help them do that? And so certainly uh, I think the Sixers are, 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 are hopeful they can get out here in free agency uh, and, and improve this team. And listen, I think James Harden, one way or another, he'll be back with the Sixers. Um, and I think there's an opportunity for he and the team uh, to do that, get him uh, some significant guaranteed money moving forward and really make some improvements here in free agency. OK, with that said, what is Philadelphia's strategy as we get down to the wire here? Toughness. I think they would like to improve uh, this roster. Um, they saw it in the series. They saw it in the playoffs. You know, the coaching staff, the front office, and I think the players talked about it. This needs to be a physically tougher team, a mentally tougher team, and I think going out and trying to address that uh, in free agency, in trades, is a priority for this Sixers team. All right, he's the best in the business, Adrian Wojnarowski. Woj, thank you so much. We Thanks, will George. chat with you a little later. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.